teacher SP and uh, welcome back to my channel. So for today's uh, learning, we will be learning on how are we going to derive a function or we will be getting the derivatives of a function using the sum and difference. If you are interested, so let's begin. rule in finding the derivatives of a function, then the definition of this is d over dx is the quantity of f over x plus g of x is equal to f prime of x plus g prime of x. So we will be using the definition in getting the derivative of this equation. So differentiate y is equal to 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 7x plus 6. How many terms are there? So there are four terms, so 1, 2, 3, and 4. We will be getting the terms, the, or the derivative of every term. So um, the uh, solution known is d over dx times the quantity of 2x cubed minus the derivative of 5x squared plus the derivative of 7x plus the derivative of 6. Now, isa-isa po natin kukunin ang derivative. We will be using the sum and difference. So, yung una kong lesson, doon na natin ang application nun. Okay? So, as what I have mentioned, Kukunin mo po yung derivative ng 2x cubed, magiging 3 multiplied the exponent by 2, which is the numerical coefficient. 3 times 2 will give you 6x and subtract 1 sa n niya, wherein is the exponent. So 3 minus 1 magiging 2. So 6x squared and then copy the, the negative sign. Get the derivative of 5x squared. So again, 2 times 5 will give you 10x. So no need to get the value. 2 minus 1 is 1. So exponent niya ay 1 lang. So hindi na kailangan ilagay. Plus the derivative of 7x. We know that x is, we will be using the identity rule in getting the derivative. So, pag sinabi natin identity rule, we are going to substitute 1 sa x niya. So, 7 times 1 will give you 7. And, in constant rule, lahat po ng derivative ng constant is always equal to 0. So, 6 is constant, then, that is the derivative of 6 is equal to 0. So, you don't need to get uh, or to put the value of 0 here. So therefore, the derivative of this 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 7x plus 6 is equal to 6x squared minus 10x plus 7. Hindi mo na kailangan lagyan, guys, ng d over dx. Why? Kasi pag nilagyan mo po ng d over dx, ibig sabihin, you will be getting another derivative of this function. So, okay, so this is now the answer. Okay, another one, I will be giving you another example. So, for example number two, we will be getting the derivative of, number two is differentiate y is equal to 4x raised to the 6th power plus 12x to the 5th power minus 10x squared plus 6x minus 2. How many terms are there? So, 
one, two, three, four, five, there are five terms. So, isa-isahin po natin, guys, kukunin ang derivative ng function na ito. So, magiging d over dx times the quantity of 4x raised to the 6th power plus the derivative of 12x to the 5th power minus the derivative of 10x squared plus the derivative of 6x and then minus d over dx times 2. Okay, so let us get the derivative of this. So let us proceed to the solution. The n multiply that by 4. So 6 times 4 will give you 24x. So lahat po ng uh, exponent, babawasan mo po ng 1, 6 minus 1, plus the derivative of this, 5 times 12 will give you 60x raised to 5 minus 1 minus the derivative of 10x squared, so 2 times 10, will give you 20x raised to 2 minus 1 plus the derivative of 6x. So, isa substitute lang po natin ang 1, identity rule, magiging 6 minus 0. So, you don't need to get to uh, write 0 there. So, let us simplify our exponent, guys. So, magiging 24x. 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 plus 60x. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 minus 20x. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Okay. And then, so plus 6. This is now the derivative of this function. We are using the sum and the difference. So, next, uh, we will be studying about the product rule and getting the derivative of a function. So, I hope, guys, that uh, you learned something today and have a great day, everyone, guys.